Hi friends, it's Chris here at The Hive and I am going to show you a layered bow with three different ribbons. I have a more of a linen style ribbon that's one and a half inches wide, a plaid one, pink plaid, also one and a half inches wide, and then a nice print that has like pink hydrangeas on it and it's two and a half inches wide. So I'm, our Sam's Club has tons of great ribbon here in Topeka and it just inspired me. I had to buy so many. So now we just need to make bows. So I'm going to use all three ribbons. We're just gonna do a traditional, nice fluffy bow. And I have a piece of floral wire here. So let's just get started. So since this is a neutral, more or less two-sided, it doesn't have a print such as this has a print on one side and not on the other. It just is like a, it bleeds through. So this is our right side, obviously. We are going to choose the length of tail that you would like. Give it a little pinch. And if you like that little button in the center or fluff, and then that way you don't have see your ribbon, your wire going through it, you can make a little loop around your thumb. I always give a twist. So next is we're gonna make a loop. Bring it back to the center, give it a pinch between your thumb and point your finger, twist it. That keeps the front side facing out. Again, if you didn't twist at this point, on this ribbon since it is a natural ribbon, doesn't have a front or back necessarily, then it wouldn't matter if you twist it or not. I'm just in the habit of twisting. So bring it back to the center, pinching between your thumb and pointer finger. I give it a twist, bring it back through, make another loop, center, pinch, twist. So I'm gonna keep that bow on the smaller side And at this point, if you don't wanna hold all this ribbon with your fingers as we make all the layers, you can go ahead and split that wire in half, bring it through underneath that this loop here. So it's going right through there and bring it to the back and give it a twist. And we can lay that off to the side while we make our other, our other bows to layer in. Next, pick the length of tails you'd like. If you go with shorter tails, fine. You can always add in more tails at the end just by adding strips or ribbon. So again, this time since we don't, this will be the layer ribbon underneath this one. So we don't necessarily need to make that little, that little knot in the middle. So we're just going to start by giving it a pinch, making a bow, a loop. Bring it to the center, give it a pinch and a twist. Take it to the other side, bring it to the center, pinch it, give it a twist. Do this as many times as you would like for your as many loops as you need. So center, loop, pinch, twist. Loop, center, pinch, twist. Loop, center, pinch, twist. I'm going to cut that off there. I'm going to go ahead and add it to this bow so I don't have to hold all of them. So I am now just twisting that wire to the back. And then again, you can adjust your loops and everything when we're complete. Okay, now I'm going to go to my wide ribbon. Pick the length of tails, give it a pinch, make a loop back to the center, give it a pinch, twist it. Hold that twist and pinch, go to the other side, make a loop back to the center, pinch, twist. And you have to twist on this one because otherwise you would have the back of the ribbon showing. So twist it. Back to the center, pinch it, twist it. 
and continue to do this for as many loops as you want on this bow. My ribbon's getting tangled up. Back loop, back to the center, pinch, twist. I'm going to go for a couple more loops. So I'll have four on each side, loop, pinch, center, or center, pinch, twist, excuse me. Oh my goodness, my ribbon. Hold on to your ribbon tight. Loop, and this is gonna be my final loop. So pinch, and twist, and cut your desired tail. Now I'm going to add this to my other two bows. Bring it back to the back and give it a good twist. Just like you're using a twisty on it, the bread tie, but make sure you pull it tight. And there you have it before I straighten all my ribbons, my loops out. And then if you want to add more tails, the way you would do that, for instance, let's just take this for instance, get the length of tail you want on one side, then get it to the same length on the other side. So then you're just splitting that ribbon in half. So I have about a yard of ribbon here and I find the center, or if you want one side longer than the other, and then you can just add that to the back of where you're tying them all together. Or you can actually glue them in if you want. So I just added that longer tail there. So there is your bow. Now you can add it to your wreath or whatever you are working on. Happy creating.